I've been told to go back to Nimbasa City. I can't do it right now. Ha, check the dust clouds that are still stirred up inside the caves. They're chock full of shards. I got a pile of them. I'll share them with... This man... I'm pretty sure somewhere in Drivel City there's an artisan who will teach your Pokemon moves in exchange for shards. <sighs> this man gives 10 red shards! And I was certain I'd talked to everyone before! Thank you everyone who told me about this. It's a big help and I didn't know. With a start like that, it's basically required we have to go here. We can get any move we want with that. I considered Bug Bite for Trap Inch buffing uh, with a huge attack stat, but... Uh, we're about to lose that big attack stat for one, and for two, I have a stronger bug move in mind in the end. Instead, we're going to get another one of our final moves for McFly, Ice Punch! This is gonna be such a big help against grass types, or even ground types, just things that it would normally have trouble with. Thunder Punch, Thunder Wave, Volt Switch... I'll get rid of Thunder Wave for right now, not really catching a whole lot of challenging Pokémon, I don't think. There it is! Big buff! Now, on to Route 6! Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokemon Black 2 and White 2! After taking care of everything in the Driftvale City metropolitan area, we move on to the Charged Stone Cave, a place that we explored a very long time ago, yet, uh, didn't exactly have the means of doing everything in. What do we got? No! Another wild Pokemon, Drillber! Yeah, it's a Drillber. A thing that I want to praise about Black 2 and White 2 immensely is the non-linearity. Have you noticed just how many freaking places we've been able to explore every time we get to a new town? I'm getting off my bike because there's so much precision movement here, and it just would not be a wise thing to do. Sorry, I ain't no speedrunner. I ain't got that movement tech. But seriously, there is so much to explore in every town. Just taking Driftville City alone, we got to the town, there was loads to do in the town, we could get a Zoroa, we could explore all these things in the town out of order. We had... a poison gym, wow. Uh, we had the Pokemon World Tournament after we beat the gym leader, we could go out to Route 6 if we wanted. We could explore Chargestone Cave if we really wanted to, with this being a whole other dungeon. And then... it didn't end there. Chargestone Cave, I really like it here. Formulas express the forces behind electricity, its connection to Pokemon, and humans and Pokemon themselves. This. This is my ideal place. I have to go. I have to go in order to save Pokemon and protect the very friend that I have to stop. Oh. Creepy atmosphere here. And it's- ah! You were drilling through the bridge, man! I had to stop you! That's how this thing got broken in the first place! But yeah, so Driftvale had a lot. We had the Pokemon World Tournament. That branched off into Relic Passage, which branched off into Castelia Sewers. And then there was also the lower level of Relic Castle. Behold, the destructive force created by my three prize Pokemon! There's so much to this place. There were hidden secrets. There were so many connections to other routes. And I feel like this was a response to criticism. A lot of people felt like the first Unova adventure was a bit linear, you know? Where you just kind of went to a town, you could go on to the next route if you wanted to get more Pokemon, but it was just a straight line mostly where you just went around the ring. This one, it zigzags all over the place. There's so much to it. So, triple battle time. Yeah, that's a little unexpected. McFly's moveset here is just simply amazing. I'm gonna go for Aurora Beam on Sand Slash, and then you could go for... Bulldoze will hurt Aiden, and it won't hurt Unpheasant, so I'm gonna go for Rock Slide instead. This is another new feature that I think was a response to criticism. I personally wanted to see more of triple and rotation battles, and this time around, regular Ace Trainers will challenge you to these, as well as rotation battles, by the way. It's kind of awesome that they do that. Now, that said, these triple battles is where good runs go to die. It, hitting a triple battle in a race or in a permadeath run, oh man. If you thought double battles were fast paced and scary in any kind of challenge run, you have no idea the hell that you would live through by doing that in a triple battle. There's also the fact that Ace Trainers, their whole gimmick is that they use better than normal Pokemon. We have a fully evolved Unpheasant right there. Even our team, as good as it's been so far, isn't really up to standard with that. They're definitely a notch above regular trainers in this way, and in using better Pokemon, and in doing these tougher battle styles. 
I told you that we'd get a better explanation of triple battles when the time came, and I think I owe that much to you. So, it is like two double battles happening at the same time, like I said, but there's a bit more to it than that. On my turn, I can still, I can definitely attack, sure. But I can also hit, oh wait, no, I can't do it on this. Uh, let's do Aurora Beam on Sand Slash. And then on your turn, yes, we'll do Shift. I used up Harmony's turn to shift it to the center, making it the target of more attacks. This gives a lot of strategic applications, and it's a way that you can attack on some Pokemon and switch on others within the same turn, as long as they're part of the active trio. Sandslash might have wanted to hit Aiden with a Ground-type move to maximize damage, but because I've shifted Harmony into the middle, it would be immune to it. We'll definitely have more Trill battles where we can go through things in greater detail. Your combined force as a team is greater than... a bus driver. I didn't see what he said, so I'm going with that. That's my honest guess. That we've cleared this. Uh, I'll press that one in. Uh, oh. Well, I'll go down and go back out. That's fine. You can, we can do that. We're not going to get hurt by that. We'll go there. I swear, anytime there's ever a 50-50 guess at something, I'm always wrong. <laughs> Magnets! That raises damage from electric moves. Don't think I want that on McFly. I considered it for about half a second, and then the Eviolite and just how long that's going to be helpful for him, I think just sounds way better. Hi, I'm the Nugget Man. And I'm the Nugget Boy! Glad you showed up. I want to give you this. A Nugget. I want to give you this too! A BIG NUGGET! That's a Nugget. How'd it get so golden without deep frying? Trade secret. Nugget about it! <laughs> he really is from New York. We'll go... Uh, we'll go over this way real quick. Th there's a lot of branching pathways in Charged Stone Cave, and I could believe myself getting a little bit lost here. Do you give Funfest mission? What beautiful stones! Wouldn't it be lovely if they had such pretty gems on the walls of my room? Yes! Find Shining Horse! I know this game way too well. <laughs> this is so sad, man! Eh, sure. We'll activate it, just not right now, because this guy's gonna fight us, and we don't want that. I'm a Pokemon Ranger, here to gather up some electric power! Gotta get those charged crystals for the nature waves or whatever it is you people are into. I'm gonna send out an Omphoros! Definitely upping things on us. Who's gonna fight here today? McFly! You can't do a whole lot to an Omphoros. Sounds like it's time to switch out. Volt switch! Good, no lightning rod. I think you just have static. I don't think you can have lightning rod. I mean, yeah, what kind of rod would it have on it that could act that way? Oh, Jade's fainted crap. That was my choice. Uh, Pignani? How about you? You seem like the best bet option that I got. Such high praise. We haven't gone into certain types yet because uh, they haven't had a gym. But I thought this would be a good opportunity for us to get to know Pignani a little bit better. Fighting types are high offense, not so much defense. That's sort of what makes Pignite unique among the other fighting types that we could have picked up. Fighting types have the average highest attack stat of any type. They beat five different types in all, though are weak against three themselves. Despite this, they tend to have good coverage moves for the types that fighting can't do well against by itself. Take this, Chesto Berry. It really is the just win type. They're all about attacking, not so much about anything. Carbos! Man, I'm so excitable about items all of the time. It's a good feeling. McFly, give that to you. I have 118 lemonades! <laughs> that is plain sad how hard it was for me to get the stuff I wanted from the vending machine. Some of those are from Pokestar, but just the fact that I'm not sure how many of them are from Pokestar and how many of them are from me failing at that vending machine thing, it just speaks volumes. I'm kind of glad that we have a lengthy dungeon to go through that's not just overwhelmingly dominated by new Pokemon, because I feel like a lot of battling lately, especially with it being a ground-type area, a lot of our fights have just been Aiden Strong. Did you know Aiden Strong? Because Aiden Strong has been happening a lot lately, and I can't really blame myself because Aiden has been really good, but I kind of want to get to know our other Pokemon through battle as well, where Jade hasn't really done a whole ton of fighting herself, uh, Pignati, I feel, hasn't really been relevant in a little while because he wasn't really helpful against Elise's gym either. So, yeah, we're gonna try to use all sorts of Pokemon here and not just relying on the Claw Hammer all of the time. Minchino! Time to break your face! 
The type coverage afforded to us by McFly combined with having Volt Switch makes it an excellent, excellent lead. I don't know if McFly is gonna be our lead forever, but at least for the foreseeable future, I think that's gonna be our... Oh, an Excadrill. That's a little tough. Let's see if we can do it. I'm faster than you. Whoa, that didn't even do half. Hold Claws is a pretty lackluster move. I don't know if I'm really worried about that. We'll go for... We'll go for Jade. Jade has not been doing nearly enough fighting. Now... I still see you kind of as the baby of the group, where occasionally you get some clutch wins, occasionally you do amazing stuff, but generally, you're really slow, you take more damage than I think you will, given what your stats say, and you get critical hits when you don't even need them. Okay, you fit in just fine around here, girl. <laughs> Level 33. I became the wind and blow. Keep that to yourself, girl, ew. Some more Chesto Berries. They're really pushing us to go for those rest strats. And then, uh, that over there is a doctor. If I beat him, I can pump some iron. Oh. Swamping around the party, we're gonna be letting Harmony do some things. I'll battle Pokemon even if I can't find a pulse. That's, uh, a doctor who beats up on dead bodies. I guess I've, I've heard that all doctors are kind of mad doctors in a way. A Solosis! And I got me my own psychic type, Harmony! Harmony hasn't done a whole lot of battling yet, but I think I got a pretty good feel for your personality. The way I see you is you're a rash nature and you're proud of your power, and you learn all sorts of different moves that are useful in all kinds of situations. I see you as the eager for a fight member of the team, where you're just kind of like, guys, I got this, whatever, and you don't really think very much before getting into a battle. Uh, could be that you're just really energetic and eager and happy, like the card artwork I saw. Maybe you're stoic. I'm not totally sure on that part, but that's how you strike me. A, a bit of an ego, and sometimes it works out great for you because you really are the right person for any job, but other times maybe not so much because you're just a little bit too eager to get out there and take care of things. But at the very least, I think you're going to be a reliable addition to the team. Fate attack, okay. Yeah, don't have to worry much about that. Future Sight! That's Psychic type now. It used to be typeless damage that was delayed a few turns, uh, but it's been changed to being Psychic now. Dr. Kit! You're named after what you used to heal my Pokemon, a Dr. Kit. To make people healthy, doctors go where they are needed. And I'll go this way. To get hidden items, I go where I am needed. Thank you. Swap Jade into the lead as I extremely want her to do some fighting. Uh, we're doing a dance with each other. I love this place. The electricity charges up my inspiration. You have anywhere in nature that you like to go to think? I found this place near me that has this, uh, they're kind of like river rapids, I guess. And there's rocks that you can sit on right near them, and it's silent out there except for the sound of the water. It's just gorgeous. There's a lot of people who go out there to do drugs, which I, I don't know how I feel about that, so I kind of don't like going there alone, just in case something goes wrong while I'm there, but I do like going there whenever I can get a friend to go with me or whenever I can do that. I've thought about maybe planning out a video out there before. It's a gorgeous place. I'll, I'll show you a picture of it right now, just so I'm not talking about hearsay. Jade, look at you, taking out a Joltik. And then we got Golbat. You're such a dirt man, just watching you go boop with your mouth, boop. Critical hit, that's okay, I can do that too. Yeah, oh no, oh, that's bad. I need to survive this and hit with another one without you critting. Yes! Yes! Everyone knows the pain of a rock slide missing at a clutch moment if you've ever done anything. Wow! Aha! That made a light bulb go on in my head! Right, you have the amulet coin. I need to be using you more. When a person moves, electric signal travels in the body. Also, when a person has an inspiration, electric signal travels to the brain. I've heard that the electric charges in your body move at about 45 miles an hour. That's the amount of time that it takes for nervous tissue to alert your brain of something going wrong. I find that truly amazing that we're able to figure stuff like that out. At least I assume that's the case. I, I think that I've heard that one time. 
Get a revive, making up for the one that I used. And then we'll push that up. Before I go down these steps, listen to this music really quick. Did you notice that it pitched down and the tempo got slower? That happens in all multi-layer caves. It's a way of making it just feel more distant from the level and make it so you feel like you're going deeper into things without it really being clear why. I never knew why it felt so isolating whenever I would go deep into caves in this game, and then it was explained to me that it's likely the music doing that. Music's everything, man. It, and this game understands that so much. There's so many little touches with music that we've gotten to talk about. Even just as of this point, there's the music changing in, uh, based on how the fight's going during a trainer battle. You have stuff during boss fights. Whoa! I didn't need my stinking dig at all to take you out. With all the electric and steel types, I thought this would be a good time. Crunch! That's gonna be a good move for you. I, oh, do I get rid of dig or do I get rid of bulldoze? I get rid of Rock Smash, what the hell am I saying? That's an easy choice! <laughs> Why was I only looking at the good moves? I never use Rock Smash, ever! Your style is electrifying! Uh, Billy Joe cosplayer complimented me. That's the best thing I've gotten all day. That's wonderful. Give me that. I went and bought, I think, 31 max repels. You can never have enough max- you, you never have enough repels, but I found a way to get kind of close. Up here, I want to get that. Everstone! Not too thrilled about that. But I'll take an escape rope. And we have another item coming right up. That one is uh, somewhere around here. Uh, no, oh, I know where it is. In the meantime, we're gonna go fight this ace trainer. I researched on the PC the best way to battle, and now I'm sure to win. Ah, uh, no triple battle. I really wanted to say arc it. Oh, uh, were you watching a dude uh, goes by? Uh, I think it's Shuga Con Connery. I, I think is what it's called. Because uh, like they, they say that you should use an, an Arkin to win. I had no chance in hell there. Wow, that was just sad. Arkin is tough. It's got that doofy face. I would not underestimate it. You go out there. You punch it. But how about I get a chance to counter a ground type with my, my with my ice type attack that you don't wouldn't see coming out of an Electabuzz? One of the reasons why I chose Electabuzz for my team. That's pretty funny. <laughs> One of the reasons why I chose Electabuzz for my team was because of that. Thanks to the move tutors, we don't need to breed in order to get these moves. We don't have to do some kind of obscure mechanic in order to see what it's really capable of. It can just have a big honkin' move set with type coverage against everything. Pretty much right from the start. Usually Electabuzz has the problem that it's only really good in competitive or in the post game. Not so here. I thought it was a good showcase of what makes Black 2 and White 2 so different. This McFly. Come on, man. You're getting into the pain that Aiden felt before where Aiden was losing against an Electabuzz all the time. We are both par we are both paralyzed. We Would you get off your lazy butt and punch that thing? Thank you! I just realized I could have used Brick Brick secondary effect to destroy that light screen. Too late now. I'll go... I'll go pick Naughty. You got Bulldoze. Bulldoze is a damn good move for this. Thunder Punch, don't paralyze me, please. Thank you for not tasing me. I'll go for this. There that goes. Pignati gets to level 34, getting 34s all around. Seriously? I'm impressed you found an Arkin, given, how, given that you can't get fossils. Uh, what I found on the PC was just someone else's idea, not an answer I had to come up with myself. Huh. I like when they do that, where you have people who talk about winning with your favorites and not just doing what people tell you to do. Um, it's kind of why whenever I tell you about a Pokemon that isn't good, I go, well, if you just really want to use it, here's how I would use it personally. Because I can't really say that you should always do exactly what the optimal strat is. It is the way of greeting in, in high, in, greeting high in the mountains and down in the caves. That's right. We each get our Pokemon and then we begin. What I was saying just now brings me to something that I feel very strongly about. Everyone always says, oh, Pokemon needs a hard mode. Pokemon needs to have a difficulty setting. And 
I honestly don't think that that's true at all. Hear me out. Pokemon as a concept has a difficulty slider built in. It's called use worse Pokemon. And if that don't work, use worse moves. And there's already so many self-imposed challenges out there that are popular. I don't really think that it needs it because just in its pure concept of you building any team you want and using them however you want, there's difficulty sliders built into everything you do. You can level up less, you can bring along different Pokemon, you can try out things that you've never done before. I don't think that the answer is having higher level scaling. What I'm saying here is kind of relevant to something that unlocks in this game at a specific point, and believe me, we'll get to that. But I think people just, you know, want the games more challenging, and they say like, oh, they should add a difficulty setting. I don't think that's the answer. I think that the games already give you that as it is, and it's kind of unnecessary. That said, however, I do wish that more recent games gave you more options in how you could play. I wish that you could do uh, you could just do set battles if you wanted and restrict yourself in that way and not have to hit B every time it asks you if you want to switch Pokemon. I wish that you could turn off the experience share if you wanted to. I think the answer is just giving people a lot of options for how they can play a game, and I think that taking away some of those options is a problem with the recent games. My three beloved Pokemon will make their debut in a perfect weaving triangle! You've given this a lot of thought, haven't you? You were up all night last night just hoping that somebody would stumble upon you. A rotation battle? Stoutland, Crocorock, and Ferocid. Oh, those are not to be taken lightly. Those are dangerous, dangerous Pokemon. Ferocid's got grass that Aiden would have to worry about. I'm par- This went terribly, wow. Thank God it doesn't work on multiple Pokemon if you do that. Uh, I'll go with... Aiden and I'll do Surf. I don't have a strategy here at all. I am honestly scared of what's going to happen in this fight. Rotation battles can be super unpredictable. Even if they're not as fast paced and dangerous as triple battles are, they can still catch you off guard pretty badly in any kind of challenge. Like so. Aiden, you've been slipping a little bit lately. I, I don't know if it's the smooth, slick skin that you have now that you're aquatic or what it is, but you kind of let McFly make a joke out of you before. I can't use items anymore. I'm paralyzed. Would you just... Every status, every status just refuses to let me have anything. And you can't tell me that water didn't hit those two. Iron defense. It's fine. Do it all you want. I don't care. Ferrasi... I don't think you would have Seed Bomb. I'm just going to go for Surf again. It did enough damage to Ferrasi. Yes! Work up. It's cool that we're seeing that because you can buff up and because you aren't going back to your Pokeball, you can effectively switch out and keep your buff. I got Crocorock's toes a little bit wet. That counts for some damage, right? Stoutland goes down in one more attack. Crocorock is as good as dead no matter what I do. Ferrocid is going to be within knockout range here. <laughs> Pin Missile. <laughs> That's all you had. Well, it doesn't matter what I do now, I'm knocking out something this turn, and you're not gonna- you're just gonna sack the Ferocity. Nice. Aiden can use items again! It's so rare that I ever see Embargo last long enough that you can get- that you get that to appear. You're down. Harmony gets a level. Level 34. Wants to learn Mirror Move. That copies a move from an enemy using their last move against them. Don't really want that. That's too situational, I think, because they. I have good type coverage already. <laughs> I'm not used to them asking you twice if you want to forget moves anymore. I've been spoiled by recent games. That is one thing. That's one thing I like better about recent games, at least. <laughs> Thank you. Surf it. Take down. If you survive. Oh, Aiden, you were doing so good proving yourself. You almost took out three Pokemon all by all on your lonesome by just spamming one move over and over again. That's pretty good. Okay, you're you're, you're getting you're getting my attention back. Pignani, you got a Rocky helmet on. I'm sending out my. Oh no, I'm not. I thought for a second I was gonna have to rely on my HM user briefly. <laughs> McFly got to level 34. You were the one who had the strong combined team of a. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going back to heal. <laughs> oh, goody. I can't warp to the enter link from inside of a cave. Right. I forgot. Never mind. It was a good idea. Not doing it. 
Since I can't play that Funfest mission, I'll just tell you that you get evolutionary stones in it, and you get different evolutionary stones based on the version that you're playing. It's one of those. Know what? I'm here at Professor Juniper's request. I'm researching a Pokemon called Tidema. I am so sorry. But there aren't very many of them, and they don't seem very strong. See, they knew! They freaking knew! They knew that Tynamo sucked ass! It's a leech, so it probably does! There was an ace trainer around here. I know because I saw you. Dowsing machine. Uh, these usually signify that there's an item hidden nearby. This is a return back to the starting area of the first floor. We've come full circle and have a nice way back to Driftvale City if we so wish. That can only mean that we're getting close to the end. Hey, my Pokemon are great. Look, look. It's not exactly you, but we've been seeing quite a bit of those guitarists around here. And I gotta say, you know what would be freaking sick? Holding a metal concert inside a charge stone cave. I'd pay to go see that. The cave would be the replace. The cave itself would eliminate the need for pyrotechnics and illumination and all that. It would just have sparks flying everywhere and look awesome. And I I'd greatly like to see that. I can't. I, I just don't want to risk J uh, Jade out here. She's just kind of weak. She's not going to go before a tier two goes, sad as that is to say. You might also have an Aqua Jet. McFly, you get out here, you show it what you're made of. With the Eviolite, you're a better op you're a better opportunity for switching. I want to start fighting smarter. I have not been fighting the best in this one. I've just been kind of going out there and throwing myself and I'm going, I can take him. And I think that I feel that way because I've had a really easy time of things lately, but it's definitely starting to get a little harder. I'll do a Volt Switch, even though I just came out. You have low special defense, sounds like a good option. Super effective, got a sturdy. You already attacked me with Brine. I'll go for Harmony. Harmony, go out there with your brazen attitude. Show that you can take a crunch! Crunch! I'm fine, it's okay. You have one HP left, I'll just blow on you. Literally. Love that cry. Magmar is your last Pokemon. Don't have a good move to deal with you. How about Hypnosis? How about Hypnosis? Yeah, uh, 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 uh. Critical hit! Sometimes you just can't prepare for things. Jade, you go out there, because I want you to get some experience points. You are getting very up there, and you really, really should be doing some battling right about now. Confu- I did say Ace Trainers were a notch above the rest, and there are a lot of them here. I gotta not hit myself twice in a row. Well, that didn't last long. Bulldoze! Flame Burst. I'm so dead. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. Just like always, you go out there and show them how it's done because no one else can get their stuff together like you can. You've kicked the asses of half of these people. You're not even gonna hurt yourself for much in the way of confusion because you don't have any attack. I knew if anybody could get through a status in one turn, it would be you. Thank you. Up you go. Arg! I'm called an ace trainer, but that doesn't sit well with me. Because I just love Pokemon, and I just want to be strong. Sort of like how a lot of top-level competitors don't see themselves as top-level competitors. I always like the how that's sort of a common trend among people who just are like, oh, I just like things, you know? Hikey! Hikey, hikey, hikey! The hiker wandering the expanses of the world will teach a child like you the harshness of life and the difficulty of Pokemon battles! You heard what I was saying about us not needing a difficulty slider earlier, and now you are out for blood! I better get my ass in gear. Let's go for it! Sending out an Aron. I'll drink to that. You have basically no speed. You're quad weak against this. You have sturdy, so I'll definitely take a hit this turn. But I'm feeling pretty good about that. Take it. You're killing your own sturdy. You kill. Oh no, you've you've rocket. You've rocket. Ah, oh, I can one shot you. Yes. Get that. And a nose pass. Your defense is pretty darn high. Use mostly a yeah, power gem, just like I was thinking that you uh, you'd use. You don't hit me for a whole lot, Jade. I like what I see. Are you slow enough for me to hit again? Yes, you are. That's why I keep that move around, even though I got a stronger ground type move. So you probably had sturdy. Teacher was scolded. You're very strict, aren't you? I mean what I say, I say what I mean. I always have kind of 
carry that with me. It's a nice Pokemon are inside dust clouds. Thank you. Thank you for joining the rest of the class. Really am a teacher. Carbos. Give that to Harmony. And then Iron I forgot earlier could go to, well, we'll say Pignati. I got all these wings earlier that I never used and I've wanted to use them for a little bit now. I just keep forgetting. We'll do special defense on Aiden, special attack on Harmony. HP to Pignati. And attack to McFly. Feeling a lot better now that I remember to do that. It's one of those things I always think to do when I'm not recording and then when I go back, I'm just like, oh, grass gem. Just collecting them all here. I got a really nice set of gems. And now we emerge from the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> we did so much battling. We got to know our team members a lot better, I think, just from getting to see them in action a lot more and not, you know, talking about the new Pokemon every time we got to battle. Hey! Lay it on me! Attach some metal to my skin, man! What did I get? Dowsing Collector, found a lot of hidden items. There were a lot in there. Okay. With us having made it all the way to Miss Stralton City, the site of our sixth gym battle, I think we're gonna end things off there. Next time on Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, we're gonna explore this strange new place and its bopping atmosphere. Every town in this place is just a bop, man. See you guys then.